Item number SCP-1370 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1370 is locked in a fireproof glass display case stored in Gallery 27. If the case becomes damaged by external circumstances, any container with dimensions of at least 1.25 by 0.75.5 meters will suffice as a replacement until a new display case is available. The Ethics Committee recommends that any long-term storage case contain enough space for SCP-1370 to move freely. Level 2 personnel or higher may remove SCP-1370 from its case at their discretion, but will face disciplinary action for failing to secure it properly afterward. Description SCP-1370 is a self-aware artificial being constructed from various electrical devices and tools. It stands approximately one meter in height and is capable of moving its articulated joint despite the lack of any power source or motors. SCP-1370 communicates in a monotone voice via a speaker mounted in its chest. Its head is a photometer sorted upside down to a neck joint, giving the appearance of a friendly smile, but containing no active sensory devices. However, SCP-1370 will react to visual and audible stimuli, and its ability to do so is hampered when the head is covered or otherwise restrained. Its design appears to give more importance to aesthetic concern rather than function, as evidenced by a poor center of gravity that hampers its ability to balance and walk. It is therefore believed that SCP-1370 was created as an art object and later imbued with anomalous properties, rather than designed with those in mind. It can speak fluent American English, French, and Latin and is capable of learning new languages. Other facets of its intellectual capacity have not been clearly outlined, as SCP-1370 invariably hostile in all interactions with any being or object it interprets to be sapient. This includes, but is not limited to, animals, Foundation personnel, civilians, audiovisual equipment, and security cameras. If SCP-1370 encounters an object it believes to be sapient, it will attempt to engage the object in combat while introducing itself with a variety of elaborate titles which appear to be selected at random. Examples include Doombot 2000, Robo Lord the Destructor, Prime Minister Sinister, and Darth Claw Killifrex. SCP-1370 will often include variations to these titles based on responses which receives. SCP-1370 will often include variations to these titles based on the responses it receives from personnel. Foundation staff has successfully introduced Patheticon, the Gargamuft, and Pestabot to its lexicon. Addendum. Many tests on SCP-1370's combat promise have been run, each confirming that SCP-1370 lacks the physical aptitude to cause damage to any living being. Test 1370-8239 exposed SCP-1370 to a common houseplant with a speaker hidden in the plant's pot. After SCP-1370 was provoked verbally, it attempted to fold and twist the leaves of the plant within its grasp before incapacitating itself. See log that follows. Researchers L. Allens and T. Balsam carry SCP-1370's case into the testing chamber. The case is set down one meter from a potted velodendron fitted with a small speaker. Release me, insects. I am Doom Master 1370. The master of all doom, I shall be a herald of your destruction. Researchers leave the testing chamber and the case is opened remotely. 
Although no security risk is determined, the test requires SCP-1370 to focus on the plant rather than nearby personnel. Observations were made via an opaque glass window to prevent SCP-1370 from attacking its own reflection. At last I am unleashed upon this earth, so deserving of destruction. All shall be rent within my pincers. All shall be trembled beneath my feet. I am Shivatron, and despoiler of mirth. Hello, can you hear me? Who dares? All souls will burn. You will feel the sharp sting of my wrath. Identify yourself, so I may sing damnation upon you as you die. I am a split leaf velodendron, a semi woody shrub with large glossy leaves. <laughs> These leaves can grow up to three feet long. Your mockery spells your doom. I have arrived. You will be crushed betwixt my digits. SCP-1370 falls over is unable to right itself. After approximately six minutes, it knocks the pot over which rolls into a position that pins SCP-1370's body to the floor of the chamber. Researchers enter to return SCP-1370 to its case.